congratulations, Jonathan. You just put the news out about six o'clock that you were committing to UCF. I think it was about this time a year ago. I think maybe you had played a kickoff classic or your first game. It was around that time. I remember you tweeted that you got an offer from UCF and it was your first offer. I, I think I recall. Yes. Uh, I think I talked with you at that time. Did, did you kind of think at that time, you know, maybe that would be, that would be the, the spot for me. <laughs> I definitely was because I had no idea my recruitment would blow up the way it did. I'm very blessed and honored the way it did, but UCF has always held a special place in my heart because of everything that they did. And they gave me that first, you know, that first kind of shot, you know, and yeah, the country that we think this guy is going to be a person, and I, and yeah. I really appreciated it. Yeah, so uh, what was this process like? Uh, I know you visited some games last year. I think you went to the ECU game for yes, UCF. Sir. I know you took visits this summer. Did not take an official, I know, to UCF. So is this kind of kind of wrap up the last year? Has it been fun, exciting, tiring? Uh, what was it like for you? Um, so this year, uh, it's definitely been fun and exciting. I will say that. Uh, the only reason I had a, an official planned with UCF in the early week, early months, early weeks of June, but I believe I had some family issues or something come up where I couldn't attend it. Um, but yeah, UCF has always kind of held a special place in my heart because they gave me that first shot. And I've always thought they've always been back in my mind, no matter where I thought or where I went. And that they've always been the kind of standard I compared everyone to. Um, I'm very excited about this opportunity and this chance. I know since they're our Power Five now. Uh, we went on, on Saturday. It's always been a dream for me. Um, and I, with it, I, I believe we're taking three O line this year. Uh, I, I love our depth and everything that I've seen. And I, I really think I have a good chance of becoming a starter, if not getting on the travel team. Since I'm graduating in, de graduating in December. Okay. So I can get in there in January and get some spring ball in me. Okay, so what all kind of to sum up everything? What did you like about UCF? What stood about the program? You know, what got you to this day to make you want to commit and become a UCF Knight? Um, I would like what I love about the program is one the staff. The staff is no matter what, no matter where I've been, they haven't been a staff to necessarily bug me. Like if I'm at a different college. They're not always saying how much worse that college is than UCF. <laughs> they, they were, they were, they were more like worried about me. They were like, "I hope your visit goes well, Jonathan. I, you know, safe travels, bless, uh, bless the family. You know, and I hope everything's safe and you come back or you uh, go get home safe. You know, it's never, it's never facts about why they're better than this school or why they they understand the process and they've always had my back and I really meant something to them. So what was that relationship like with Herb Hand, your future position coach? Uh, I know you talked to me a little bit about that. You met him at that ECU game last fall. I assume that that relationship was just building in the last few months. Uh, how, do, how do you like him? How, what was that relationship like? Uh, it's just, it's been great. I, I love everything I heard about. And uh, I'm just, I'm from what he produces and who he is, made a name for himself. Um, I'm excited to be hopefully another one of his boys that plays for him for three or four years and goes off to the league. Yeah. So how did the commitment take place? Did you, did you talk to the coaches over the phone here recently? Like who did you talk to? What was the reaction like? Um, they were definitely excited. I was, I was, I was excited as well. Um, I've been trying, I was trying to uh, do like a little hat ceremony, but I could just never find the time or, anything and was it in my senior year i was like no i don't need a hat ceremony i know where i'm going i called the coach i believe a week or two ago and i suddenly committed i told him just to wait for me i'm trying to find somewhere i can you know commit publicly and it just today was just the day i was kind of fed up you know i'm tired of game last night i'm like look no one wants to answer the phone you know we don't want to do a hat ceremony we won't do a hat ceremony i'm just going to commit be done with it i'm happy with my choice i'm very happy with my choice and uh, I'm just ready to go focus on my senior year and kick some butt. Yeah, so obviously I take it you talk with head coach Gus Malzahn. When you committed, do you kind of remember that uh, that conversation? What was that like? Hey, I, I believe it was exact word for boom, let's go. I'm so excited about you. Um, and the way that 
I, I feel like he definitely knows. She kind of knows who I am, and um, and I say that because the relationship we're gonna bond right now it's almost like we're strangers compared to what we're gonna be in a few years. Um, and I'm just I'm really looking forward to it. He he was very, like I said very excited. I've talked to him at least four or five times in the last week or so, and it's just um, it's been great. Yeah, so uh, what is their vision for you on the field? Have you talked about you know where you would fit in? Like, do you play tackle right right now in in high school? Correct? Is it interior? Why? Like, what have they said about where they see you fitting in? I'll, I'll probably be an inside guy, uh, offensive guard or offensive center. Okay, is that an area? Like, have you ever snapped before? I mean, sliding over one spot to guard, but have you ever snapped at center, or do you have experience with that? I've, I've played both, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So like, what are the coaches or, you know, maybe not just UCF, what do you kind of hear feedback when you talk to these college coaches? What do you, what do they like about you? Have they talked about, you know, things they think you do well, what your best strengths are? Um, they definitely like my strength. I'm the, uh, I'm kind of proud of it. I'm the strongest guy at Carter's high school. I'm 20 pounds away from beating the school bench record. Um, Someone else has me a little bit on squats right now. He's a 20, 24 running back. He's a running back in nose. Sorry, he's definitely going to be someone for the Canes. Um, sorry for the Cardizal, Purple Hurricanes, you know. Okay. So so you said you're you're 20 pounds off the all-time Cartersville record for uh, for bench? Yes, sir. Is uh And, and what, what what is your bench right now? 425. 425. Okay, and what, what is your squat? 580. That's... Pretty good. <laughs> is that a record at Cartersville? No, sir. So the uh, the scrape the the squat record at Cartersville was actually six eighty. Really? Wow. Yeah. Do you know who who did that? Was that recently or that? Yeah, it was a few years ago by Laquemi Jupiter. He's at uh, at Westland, something Westland. Okay. 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 I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So he lined them for us. Okay, so what's what's the plan for you? Obviously, you're focused on your senior year. Now you're going to come down to UCF, right? Is you have an official visit set up pretty soon? Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, the Georgia Tech down there for for an official. Okay, so that kind of works out, right? Because that's a bye week for you, so you don't have to worry about your own team or you know playing a game on Friday night. So is that fun that you'll get to come down and? You know, experience what life is on a college campus when school's in session. You get to see a game. Like, are you looking forward to that? Oh yeah, it's it's yeah. I'm I'm ready for it. Georgia Tech. What, did they recruit you? Obviously, you're not too far. It might be the closest school. I'm not sure which one's closer to you, Atlanta or Athens. But uh, Georgia Tech. Did they recruit you at all? Or yes, sir, they were. Uh, they offered me not too long after UCF. Okay, so that'll be interesting. You'll get to see uh, guys from your home state play and everything. Right, yes. so how long have you been playing football? Is this something that you've kind of gotten into as you've gotten older? Or like you've been playing at a young age? Or what's kind of your, your history with the sport? I grew up playing baseball. And then uh, a few years, I was like, I'm done. for. I'm just done. I don't play sports. Um, then I got into uh, soccer. Really? I, I was a big soccer guy. Um, I, was, I played uh, left mid for soccer. Sorry, right mid. Yeah, I played right mid for my first year or two for soccer, and then I, that's where I met my best friend, McCaden. And uh, McCaden was like, you're big. You're actually huge. Come play football with me. So, <laughs> shoot, let's give it a try. And his stepdad at the time was the head coach uh, for the rec, for the rec ball. And uh, we played it. We did great. We actually got really far. The, and then the next year, I went up to the high school. He stayed behind to play rec ball one more time. Sorry. I went up to the seventh grade team. And he stayed back one more year. Since I just I watched the whole season go by when I was in seventh grade because all the eighth graders. Um, and they actually went and won state as a rec team. Okay. And we we won like region or we got like second region. I can't really remember. But then eighth grade year, you know, that's when I really found my love for it, and that's where I really started to develop to where I am now. So can you, that, that was a pretty, uh, your friend there kind of helped, you know, push you on the path to be where you are today. Are you, you guys are still pretty, pretty close and. Oh yeah. yeah. He's my, he's, he's the one I was with the night. I made the decision. and uh, He's always been there for me. That's awesome. That's awesome. Did, did you start to watch more football as you got into high school? Did you have like a favorite players or anyone NFL or anyone you like to watch or. No, I still really don't even watch football. I mean, I like NFL wise. I mean, I watch some college highlights. You know, every other year we have a couple of players that come out of 
Cartersville that go into play Division One football. Um, names you know like Trevor, Ronnie. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence obviously went to Cartersville. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, Ronnie Brown, uh, Miller Forstall, signed for Alabama. He's at the Titans now, I believe, or the Browns. Um, uh, Evan Slocum at Wake Forest. Isaiah Cheney at Wake Forest. Uh, Jonathan Cruz, he's now he just transferred to Old Miss from Char- uh, North uh, from Charlotte. Right. There's there's a lot of guys that go every year. Yeah, yeah. Did you back to the commitment? Did you see some of the tweets from the coaching staff after you put it out there? I think they, I don't know. You saw that? Do you see that dance off the other day with Herb Hand doing the get on the floor? Did you see that? Did you see that one tweet? I, I definitely did not see that. I don't you got to see that. It's like Herb Hand. Uh, what's that? The snake? What? <laughs> He's on the floor. You got you got to see that tweet. I, I thought you would have seen that already, but uh, they had some good reaction uh, to your commitment. But uh, another thing about UCF, you were there uh, last season for the ECU game. Like, just what did you think about the whole atmosphere, just coming down and seeing a game and the campus and all that stuff? What did you think about that experience? It's actually my first college football experience. I'd never been to a game before, and that, that's how I started it off, and I and I loved it. I fell in love with everything that they had to offer and everything that we had done and getting to see the team warm up and what they go through. Um, and then, at, you know, post-game after that, kind of, it was, it was tight for a little bit. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a close game, and I think UCF won it uh, very late. So we, uh, I, I kind of looked in the locker room a little bit and saw how they were, and uh, Coach, Coach Hand came to my hand so it was great. He brought a couple players out there, and I shook my hand. Um, the one player I remember, just because of his size, is the German. Yeah, Paul Rubelt. Yeah, he's in like six ten. Something like that. Yeah. I just I've never had to break my neck to look up at someone like that before. <laughs> break my neck looking up at someone like that kind of scared me. I'm like, why aren't you in the in, like the NBA? In the NBA. <laughs> He's a big guy. He's doing well. I think he's going to play this year. And they got another 6'10", 6'11 guy transfer from Virginia who's going to be playing Ryan Swoboda. But, uh, yeah, what's the outlook this year for Cartersville? Have you guys started your season? Is that coming up this week? or uh we had our uh, season opener last night. We okay. Against a team who's usually pretty formidable. Um, the last three or four years, they put up a pretty good dog fight. It's usually just been by a touchdown or two the last two or three years. Okay. So do you guys feel like you're going to have a good season or – Oh yeah, we're looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah, right. I believe in the state this year. Okay. And um, the guys that the last three years have beat us for state, they're ranked fifth, but they lost last night. But it's a very large. Um, I'm sure they have tons of talent to recruit from, uh, and they can recruit just how big they are. But I'm definitely looking forward to first getting after the tail. You know, it's one and zero. Oh, sorry, it's zero oh and zero oh every week. Gotcha, gotcha. Last thing, uh, I know you said you're going to be enrolling at UCF early, so you're going to graduate from high school in December, be there in January. Like, what are your goals? Like, what do you want to accomplish uh, in your UCF career? Have you thought about that yet? Not entirely, but what I have is I want to be someone for the three or four years I'm there. I don't want a red shirt. I don't want I mean, if the coach wants me to red shirt. I'm 100 behind them. I trust the I trust these coaches with everything. I mean, my career is behind them. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to hopefully getting in there and starting and playing you know, as a freshman. Uh, hopefully getting the spring game. If I got a spring break, spring game, that'd be in the world to me. Um, but definitely just getting in there, getting some high quality reps as a freshman, trying to go out there and prove myself, and being a two to three to four, you know, potentially four year starter. I got you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the conversation, Jonathan. I know everyone will enjoy hearing from you. A future night, a big day today. Uh, congrats. And uh, maybe I'll see you that weekend at the Georgia Tech game, okay? Yes, sir. That sounds great. All right. Take care. Have, have a good night. Thank you. You as well.